This is the Beetlesuits.com rubber sole jacket put together by R.W. Lease Limited Tailoring and sold on Beetlesuits.com. Uh, this is made by a guy named Russ Lease, who's a big Beetle uh, collector. He owns the original drum head that the Beatles used on the Ed Sullivan Show. He owns Paul McCartney's Shea Stadium jacket and uh, Ringo Starr's jacket that he wore on the cover of Abbey Road. This jacket is the rubber sole jacket, famously worn by John Lennon throughout much of 1965, but most famously on the cover of the Rubber Soul album, and thus the name, the Rubber Soul Jacket. This is a very well-made, heavy-duty jacket. It must weigh five pounds. It's a good, heavy, kind of suede, and it's fully lined. I'll take this out here. Fully lined with this kind of copper-colored lining. It's got uh, two pockets inside, one pocket over here, and then this second pocket over here has actually got a zipper on it. To keep things even more secure, like your wallet or cell phone or something, so it wouldn't fall out. And uh, here's the back of it. I'll try to show you the best I can on this video, although I can't really see what I'm filming. Um, here's a close up of kind of the detail of the pockets there. Now, the great thing about these Beetlesuits.com suits and jackets that he sells are, they are exact stitch for stitch recreations of the original clothing that's worn by the Beatles. If he doesn't own the item that he is recreating, he spends time with it. He will find where it is and take the time to measure everything, check the, uh, the materials, check the color. Now this color is a bit more orange than some people might expect from the Rubber Soul jacket because on the album cover, Rubber Soul, it looks a lot darker, but that's just because of the way the album was printed. He has since started making this jacket in a darker color that looks closer to what people imagine it looking like in real life. But uh, since he went to Florida where the Hard Rock Cafe, they own the original John's Rubber Soul jacket. Um, he spent time with it in their archives and was able to match everything, including the color. So this probably is what John's jacket actually looks like, but people think it looks like the darker album cover version. I'll show you uh, some photos of John's actual jacket, just so you can see. It's got this snap here on the sleeve. John's was a very cheaply made coat. You probably bought it overseas or in fact no one knows where it comes from because they didn't have labels in it but uh, his eventually these epaulets were gone were missing from his I don't know if he tore them off or they just came unstitched but I'll tell you this jacket is not coming unstitched it is very heavy duty and it uh, this is I think this is a large I'll have to look I wear about a 40 regular to 42 regular and I think this is a large no, this is a medium. This is a medium, so it fits me kind of the way you would expect a garment from the 60s to fit, which was much more uh, fitted to the body than modern clothing, which is much baggier. So if you're about a 40 to 42 regular, and you're about 5 foot 11, like I am, then the medium would fit perfectly for the style. So this is the Beetlesuits.com rubber sole jacket made famous by John Lennon. It's a very cool coat. Stay tuned for more of the Beetle suits that I own that I purchased over the years. I'm not affiliated with Beetlesuits.com at all, although I have done business with him on a few occasions, and he, Russ, is a very good man to deal with. And if the thing isn't right, if it's not the right size, just call him personally and he will make it right. The Rubber Soul Jacket. Stay tuned for more.